Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can make this effect on the left side of the screen and also how you can save it so you can use it in your future projects. So I'm in DaVinci Resolve in the edit tab and I'm starting out by making my background on which I'm gonna use this gradient from which I got from the generators in the effects tab. Then I'm getting a solid color and I'm living over that. Then I'm highlighting this solid color, I'm going to inspector and I'm reducing the values of zoom until I see this rectangle. I select the transform icon and I'm adjusting the length of that background of my text. Then I'm gonna make a copy of that solid color and I'm also gonna expand the background gradient so it can fit under both of them. Then I'm going to effects library titles and I'm getting a text title which I'm leaving over the first solid color. Then I'm going to inspector select titles and I'm putting my text inside it. In my case I'm typing like and also you can change the font of that text as well as the color. In my case I'm gonna use a black background and a white color for the text. I'm readjusting the background so it can match the text and then I'm duplicating the text. I'm highlighting my second text and there I'm gonna write subscribe. So after I wrote it down, I'm gonna highlight both of the second solid clip and text. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna create a new compound clip and then I'm gonna click on create. Also I'm gonna do the same for the first set. I'm gonna right click, new compound clip, create. And now my background is merged with the text and they're gonna play together. I'm gonna get a camera shake and I'm gonna leave it over the first one. This is the default settings. So I'm going in the specter to fix it. I'm gonna reduce the motion scale. I'm gonna increase the tiny bit the speed scale. I'm gonna preview it a few times so I can see what I'm having. I'm gonna adjust a little bit more settings. And once you set it up your camera shake, you can go on the second one. You can add a camera shake there as well. And a key thing here is do not try to copy exact the same values as the first one. And that is because you want them to move in different directions, not steady like an image. I hope that makes sense. Now you can highlight both of these compound clips and create another one. Now they're all merged together. You can leave it in one of the corners, for example. This is what I'm doing in my case. I'm gonna preview it so you can see what I'm having by now. Then the next step is that we can animate the text a little bit. So I'm highlighting it. I'm creating a keyframe on the transform by reducing the values to zero. Then I'm moving two frames forward and then I'm increasing the values of that zoom. That way it's gonna zoom in. And also manually I'm gonna move it towards the right side a little bit. Then I'm gonna move two frames forward again. Then I'm gonna move it a little bit to the left side. And then the third keyframe is I'm moving two frames forward again and I'm moving it a little bit down. That way we're gonna create some kind of spinning effect that is gonna zoom in. My timeline settings are 24 frames so that's why I'm using two frames in between the keyframes. But if you're using uh, 60 frames you can use like three or four in between the keyframes. Now I'm clicking on the keyframe icon. I'm gonna zoom in a tiny bit so you can see better. And because my keyframes are kinda faster, I'm gonna move it a little bit to the right so I can have a bigger distance in between the keyframes. And I want to slow it down just a tiny bit. Now I'm gonna preview it a few times so I can test it out how it looks. In my case, that is working just fine by now. And then I'm gonna close this keyframe menu and then I'm gonna open the spline tab. I'm gonna highlight all of my keyframes and I'm gonna select this icon right here, which is gonna round up the keyframes, making them a tiny bit smoother. I'm gonna preview it one more time, so you can see. And now I'm going in the end of that clip, and I'm gonna make almost the same keyframes, just like in the appearance, but this time it's gonna zoom out of that. So I'm going around 15 frames before the end of that clip. I'm creating a keyframe, then I'm moving two or three frames forward, and then I'm changing the position. I'm gonna make it spin in circle every two or three frames. And then when I go to the last frame, I'm going to reduce the values of zoom to zero so that it can disappear, just like that. Now I'm gonna preview it one more time. Now it's showing up and now it's disappearing. Adding some sound effects is really gonna power up this effect just like I used it in the beginning of the video. And now I'm gonna show you how you can export that file so that it's gonna be transparent without having any background so that you can use it in your future projects. As you know, you want to delete your background. You want to go your export tab, the delivery tab. You want to select custom export. You want to create a file name and then make the most important stuff. And that is on format, you want to select QuickTime. Below the format, you're gonna see the collect and in there you want to select GoPro sign form. After the codec you want to select the type and you can select RGB 16 bit and that's gonna open this tool which you want to check this export alpha which is the most important. 
then you want to export it and you're gonna have it as transparent background and that's because exporting it in a regular way you're gonna have it with black background now let's say that you're starting a new project you're getting your background or your video or something and now I'm looking for my file that I have just created and I'm importing it in my media pool I'm dragging it and then dropping it up over my timeline and as you can see it's completely transparent and it can be added on any background and now for the last time I'm gonna preview it and I hope this video was helpful make sure to watch this video here as well don't forget to like the video subscribe for more and see you in the next one